Astronomers discover the first world that's roughly the size of Earth and just might have the kind of conditions where water could exist, but could life actually exist on this newly found planet? WSJ science reporter Lee Holtz joins us with more. Hi Lee, thanks for being here. Always a pleasure. So what is it about this planet that is such a big deal that has astronomers so excited today? Well, it is the closest thing to Earth uh, that astronomers so far have located around another star, in this case, a small, relatively cool red dwarf star about 459 light years from home. Um, its key thing is two. One, it is almost the same size as Earth. It's relatively small and therefore probably a rocky planet, and it is orbiting its star um, in a zone they call the habitable zone, which means that it's quite likely that if there were water there, that water would be uh, liquid. The star is giving enough light so that it's not uh, uh, cold enough to freeze or uh, uh, so hot it boils, and these are conditions potentially suitable for life. So in a sense, what they've discovered is Earth's uh, close cousin, not its twin, but this is the best they've done so far, so they think it's a very big deal. Now, as often happens with science, as soon as this announcement came out, there are people kind of poking holes in it. You talked to some folks who weren't totally sure this, this idea of liquid water on the planet would hold up. Why is that? Well, it's because it is true that it orbits in this habitable zone, but it's at the very outer edge of that zone. So it means that in its system, it's probably receiving about the same amount of starlight that Mars does in our own solar system. And as we all know, Mars is great to look at, but uh, there's nobody home there. And the other big question if for life to exist on a planet like this is, does it have an atmosphere? What do we know about this planet's atmosphere? Well, that's a great question, and the answer is nothing. Um, this is so far away that it's at the absolute sort of uh, far uh, uh, edge of what we're able to detect about these kinds of planets. And they really don't even uh, see it directly. They detect it by its dip in light uh, that it makes when it blocks the star relative to Earth. So they can tell its size approximately. They can guess that it's rocky. Um, they don't know if it has an atmosphere. They don't know its mass. They don't actually know um, what it's made of. And it is so far away, it's unlikely we'll ever find anything else about it. Unless, of course, they uh, call us. And now the uh, SETI Institute, which is the group that monitors uh, planets for or, or, or solar systems for uh, uh, alien signals, is actually keeping a very close ear uh, uh, on this system. All right, still lots of questions to be answered, but a really interesting story. Lee, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure.